Let's move on to our next buy or sell. Show me the money. Debo Samuel is rumored to be looking for a contract worth $25 million per year. Gentlemen, buy or sell Debo Samuel should be paid like a top five receiver in the NFL. Aaron. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. I've never felt more strongly about anything in my life. Listen, Debo Samuel is an excellent player. He's got one season as a top receiver in the NFL. One. He's never played a full year. That includes his great year last year. He never played a full season. Even in college, he missed two of his four seasons, like significant time. $25 million a year for Debo Samuel around that area is crazy. I'm not paying him. Listen, there's been many talks about how he's changed the position. He's talked about it, how, well, he's so versatile. He can do so much. I don't think that's helping him. When you look at a guy that's injury prone and then you say, oh, well, I can carry the ball to the backfield. Well, guess what? The NFL has already depreciated running backs, right? So now you're you're actually putting, you're devaluing yourself by how much, how many times you touch the ball and your inability to stay healthy. I'm not knocking his skill set. I'm not knocking the fact that from a strictly a monetary, strictly a monetarily, I don't know, standpoint, could he be worth that much money if he was going to be on the field? Absolutely. His style of play, I don't think will allow it. He is a rugged, hard-nosed guy. He likes contact. After the catch, he can get the ball in the backfield. It's just too much. And for a guy that's already struggled with injury, I don't think you can take that, that chance. And I think San Francisco knows it. I think San Francisco is saying like, look, man, you're not Devontae Adams. You're not Tyreek Hill. You haven't done this for three, four, five seasons in a row and, and stayed healthy doing it. So we're not going to pay you that way. If he ends up – if if you see this ne- this coming year, he does well at maybe just being a wide receiver. Are you – maybe changing your changing your mind saying he, he should be paid because me i don't I, I i sell this all the way he's not a top five receiver and i don't want to pay him like a top five receiver because i don't think his wide receiver skills put him amongst the top five in this nfl so he should not be up there but he does bring <sighs> that 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 dynamic ability to where he can do do it all i just don't i wouldn't have say that in my top five i would not say that because i look at guys that are getting ready to get paid dk metcalf aj brown Those guys have struggled with injuries too, right? But their style of play is so different that it leads us, just fans, general managers, coaches, to believe that the ability for them to stay healthy is going to be more advantageous, right? Versus a Debo Samuel who you're going to give 120 carries to or whatever it it is. It's just not going to allow him to stay healthy. And his style of play is just too, I won't say it's too physical, but it is. Like the way he plays football is too physical. It's the George Kittle. Same thing with George Kittle versus Travis Kelsey. I have this conversation all the time. The difference in talent is not really there. It's the the ability to stay on the field because of the style of play. And I just don't think you can trust that with Debo Samuel. What are they feeding them boys in San Francisco to make them play like this? AJ, what about you? Are you buying or selling this? Uh, you guys, you guys hit it on the head. You have to sell this. Uh, so what I'll say is I'll sell this today. I'll buy it in a couple of years if he proves it to me because he is that talented. But one year with over a thousand yards receiving, uh, he helped with the eight touchdowns in the rushing game. But he had to do that because they can't keep running backs healthy. Um, so when, once he once he proves it, he is that talented. And if he can stay healthy for two more seasons and put up any t- one more season uh, and put up some production like this, the conversation happens a little bit sooner. But if every single receiver demanded money the first time they had a good year. I mean, like no team would ever be good. And he, I will say this last thing. He is smart to go for it because he knows he's injury prone. It only takes one more for him. And he's looking at a guy like, um, well, that's basketball. I was going to say DeMarcus Cousins, but who (laughs) should be on for the bag and can't get it because he can't stay healthy. So I understand him going for his money, but it's after one year that that ain't going to happen. Got to sell. Yeah. I wanted to mention a name and I'm not comparing the two players by any means, but paying him reminds me of the Giants paying Kenny Galladay. After a great season, he had one good year, and he's been banged up, always banged up, and you knew he was injury, and then yet you still you still pay the man. And then, look, last year he didn't do anything with the Giants. And not saying that's Debo or it's going to happen with Debo, but like AJ said, I don't think you can trust that and just after one good season say, I deserve this payday. I think you need more.